Hi everyone, welcome to the Thales facility in Brest, in Brittany. We are now standing in the CAPTAS facility where uh, the French Defense Electronics Company is uh, building and uh, integrating its uh, world famous uh, sonar system. Sandrine Ennis, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Xavier. You're a sonar expert uh, at uh, Thales. Thank you so much for uh, this uh, very rare access to this uh, very uh, well secret uh, facility. The Captas Warehouse in Brest, uh, Brittany. Yes. So, can you please first uh, introduce the Captas family uh, to our audience? So, it's a world famous uh, sonar system nowadays, uh, selected by the US Navy. Uh, but, can you give us uh, more detail how many systems have been uh, delivered so far? Yes, so today, as you can see, we have four, uh, three different uh, options. We have the Captas 4, the most powerful uh, variable death sonar. The Captas 2 is just above. And just behind you have the CAPTAS-1, the smallest one. So today, uh, I can give you some figures. Uh, we have around 90 systems in uh, service in uh, 15 navies. Uh, so today is uh, worldwide recognized as the best anti-submarine warfare variable death sonar uh, you can find uh, on the market. And as you have previously said, it has been selected by the US Navy in 2022. So the CAPTAS-4, four, four ceramic rings, four uh, transducers to uh, tra transform the power into uh, acoustic waves, sonar waves to detect the submarines. Right, as you can see, it is a piezoelectric uh, ceramics inside, and when submitted to an electric, uh, an electric uh, field, it uh, vibrates and emits the acoustic wave inside the uh, underwater. So as you can see, the, the most powerful uh, CAPTAS uh, is uh, equipped with uh, four rings of emission and depending on uh, the salinity, the temperature, the water and the depth, it can reach uh, 150 kilometers uh, for detection range. So it's the most powerful uh, sonar you can, uh, you can find uh, on the market for anti-submarine warfare. For the two, it's 60 kilometers and the one, it's around 30 kilometers or 40 kilometers. And uh, Sandrine, so the CAPTAS-4 is typically fitted on the first rank uh, vessels such as anti-submarine warfare frigates, uh, the frame frigate and more recently uh, F-110, FDI uh, and the Constellation class frigate in the US. The Type 23 uh, in the UK, the Type 26 and in Chile the Type 23 also. So as you mentioned above us is the CAPTAS-2 uh, with uh, two ceramic rings uh, that's fitted on uh, slightly more compact uh, vessels. Uh, the launch platform was in Norway, I believe. Yes, yes, the first one uh, was in operation in uh, 2002 uh, and it was inside the Norwegian Navy on NNF uh, frigates. The Nansen class, and uh, you have a very recent uh, contract uh, from a customer in the Baltic Sea. Yes, you're right. Uh, we are proud to, uh, to have contracted this year uh, for the Polish uh, Navy, uh, a CAPTAS-2, uh, to equip their, their, their medium-sized platform. Lastly, Sandrine, in your opinion, what makes uh, the CAPTAS family so uh, successful worldwide? Uh, it's uh, the low frequency, I would say, because the more low frequency it is, the much longer detection range it is. So as it is a low frequency, around 2 kilohertz, you can reach a, a, a long detection range. And uh, the US Navy is not uh, the end of the, of the story. You are working on many more prospects around the world. Of course, we are on, under discussion for, for next year for new contract. Of course, but it's too early to, uh, to announce uh, something, of course, but uh, it's, uh, it will be a, a great year uh, next, next year also for the CAPTAS family. All right, I'm looking forward to the, the official announcement. Sandrine, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Xavier.